All right, everybody, welcome back to Bows, Blades, and Bombs. This is day eight, and I am Greg Scott Bailey. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, the forge just finished uh, with some wood, so let me put some more back in. I've still got two minutes worth. We're making some more of these uh, arrowheads. Um, now, I didn't get a chance to sort and organize. As, as you guys noticed, I said I was going to stay out at the... Uh, the road and start fresh. I went ahead and came back to the base. It's eight o'clock in the morning in, in game time. So we're, we're making it work. Uh, oh, I got 46 uh, feathers on us. We're going to need to get some more feathers. Um, we can make those on ourselves though, I think. Iron arrows, yes. So I'll probably want to uh, make the rest on the road. If I, well, we're going to have over 100. Yeah, it should be fine. Um, let me go ahead and put a little bit more stuff away, and then we're going to start rocking and rolling again. Going to put the, uh, the hammer away in the project box. So basically, when we start getting uh, tools and, and, and Horde Knight stuff, I don't know, things we want to build, I might put some stuff aside there. I've been mixing up my... Um, kind of like how I, how I do things in the game. It, it hasn't... I, I've just been wanting to try some new things lately. Case in point, this uh, horde base that it didn't it didn't fail miserably. You know this this wasn't a complete failure, but it is a flawed design. And before we do the day fourteen horde, uh, we will try to rearrange this. I'm still going to use this place, and now that the zombies do have another entrance here, you know. We, we, we got some options about how they're going to feed in. Uh, we'll probably end up knocking this out. Well, I could do that right now, actually. Uh, okay, another deer here. Let's see if we can get a nice long-range shot right about there. There it is. Okay. Bows and blades. And bombs. Okay, here we go. So it's somewhere here. Let's get this guy first. Ooh. just a bit outside at this greenhouse okay let's make sure we put the bicycle there let's check the i was gonna say the glove box the mailbox uh oh we're hungry hey nice we get a couple repair kits um i'm gonna go ahead and eat two of these but uh that's it we're down to two more we don't have a lot of prepared foods that we can get back at the uh the base but we do have some meats oh and there's a little farm thing here. Okay, that's entirely way too many missed shots with that. Ooh. Okay, so start points down there. That's right, I think I remember this place now. Uh, let's get these items, even though we don't have the um, the living off the land leveled up. We, it's going to get reset anyway, so this is our chance to get some extra food. So, oh, look at that desert in the distance. Can you imagine actually living in a neighborhood like this and having a desert just that much of a difference like away from your property? I don't know. Is there is there places in Arizona like this? It It's, you know, Arizona, New Mexico, because like you live in like the northern part of the state and it still kind of gets deserty, right? Going up to the Grand Canyon and everything, but I don't know. <laughs> or blueberries. Okay, let's go ahead and start it. It is a clear areas quest. We'll go back and do the uh, duplicated stuff here in a moment. What's up, buddy? Yeah. Okay, I'll get loot in a moment. I want to get uh, get some of these zombies first. Ooh, boy, it's gonna hurt in the morning. I don't know why I'm storming into rooms. I, I should be a little bit more tactful, I guess. But, ooh, ow. Nobody behind me. Huh, somehow that missed. Oh, he made it through. And <laughs> bled to death. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and loot the garage. Now we leveled up. Oh, we have four points to spend. Of all the things that I was checking on from <laughs> end of Horde Night, till 8 a.m. The one thing I didn't check was my my points expenditure. So let's uh let's take a brief moment for that here. Um so we are doing bows, blades, and bombs, right? Now 
Demolitions expert, we have not put anything into this, but specialized explosives and weapons to stun, cripple, and dismember your foes. Grenadier, uh, Grenadier initiate, uh, you are now, oh, of course there's a zombie getting killed out there. You are now the uh, Grenadier ish initiate. Why, why can't I say that? Be careful with those explosives. Increase damage 10%, reload speed 15%, aim 10% faster, and 50% chance to stun enemies and a 5% greater chance to dismember. Crap pipe bombs, pressure plate, cook pot mines. All right, we're going to put one point into that. Now, this is under the perception uh, area. Now, perception, I did want to work on Lucky Looter, Treasure Hunter, Salvage Operations. We don't need to worry about Penetrator. That's like AP ammo. I'm not worried about am animal tracking. Uh, the Infiltrator is kind of a new one to me. Uh, use your heightened senses to take less damage from traps. Um, that's pretty cool, but um, I'm not as worried about it. Uh, lock picking, of course, I think is another one. So let's go ahead and do one in lock picking, lucky looter, and treasure hunter. So it's a bit of a focus uh, under perception, but we want to get some uh, points going into those sections so that they can start actually uh, having just a little bit of a bump up there. Oh, it occurred to me, I was like, wait, did I hear a, a redhead zombie also? And sure enough. And yes, to the casual viewer, I do keep looking away every time the black dress party girl falls backwards. Uh, e even a zombie, I'm trying to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, uh, respectful, I guess. <laughs> the <clears throat> things in view. Anyways. Oh, uh, pipe rifle, but we can't use it. And then that level three bow, we'll just scrap here. Um, pipe rifle we could sell though, right? Yeah, it's 35 dukes. I, I, getting the iron would be more beneficial, to be honest, so I just scrapped it. Okay, zombie's still working on that. Um, we're kind of overloaded with stuffs, so I'm going to... We walk right past this box. I'm going to put some stuff away, and then we'll try to have... We'll have to decide on what we take, what we come back for. Um, that, that's just going to have to be that way. What's up, buddy? Oh. Hate when I miss. All right, he was wounded from the uh, spikes, most likely. Uh, all right, so let's see. Next stage upstairs. Ooh, howdy. Put an arrow into him. Arrow into her. And, ah, uh, I was trying to get that quick shot, but we're gonna get that way when we get like a wooden bow and start leveling up our arrows some more. So next set of points I think we will put into, um, uh, let's look at it again. Uh, we will put into like archery and uh, we'll put into agility because then we could do archery later, right? We need five, right? So two levels to get to level five and then uh, the third level and then fourth level uh, to get the knives and the bow upgraded respectively. A couple bookcases, uh, paper and a spotlight schematic. Who knows? I might... Uh, use that I, I get it every game i play but uh I, I never really make spotlights but uh maybe maybe this is the the one that's different oh another bookcase all right so again we're get, getting books we already know but we'll just keep selling them to the trader if we need to make space then we'll just uh go ahead and read them and get the xp all right so it says the last bit of zombies are upstairs i see the yellow marker we're just grabbing miscellaneous stuff at this point. Um, I'm trying to remember if I remember this this area. I'm gonna try something. One there, unlit. Now let's pick it up. Uh oh, did it work? Oh no, it glitched through the roof. <laughs> How could it? <laughs> that was hilarious, I'm sorry. Sucks for me, but it's hilarious. Alright, I heard the click. We are good to go. Let me go ahead and open up stuff and, and get the loot. Okay, crates are open. Motor tool, uh, or... Yeah, motor tool parts, yeah. Oh, another zombie downstairs. Bar brawling, volume six, we'll read it. Doesn't matter what it is. I'm not doing bar brawling, but 
completionist in me wants to go ahead and finish stuff. Um, all right, yeah, we already have the generator a schematic, which I should probably we probably should start wrenching some cars for one. Uh, baton parts we could sell. I'm gonna scrap this short iron pipe. I think we're starting to get a decent amount of pipes, and I hear somebody up here already. Wow. Look at you, Arlene. Oh, in the boob. In the head. Back in the eye. Sorry, lady. <laughs> okay, but before we leave, we have to check this kitchen area. And we're not going to be able to take everything. Um, yeah, we might as well drink some water. Can't take the beer. I think I put some other beer elsewhere. Um, I'm going to take a few moments and we're going to eat all these blueberries. Why not? Okay, so got rid of the blueberries. Let's go ahead and get rid of the lead there as well. Um, oh, also, our knife, right? Look at that. And for whatever reason, I like to put the handle. It's just a visual aesthetic, but I like to put the handle on the bottom and then whatever other mods on top. It, it, you know, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't do anything different, but uh, for whatever reason, aesthetically, I just like to do that. Mr. Wrecked. Well, if you got money, I guess I can stand your smell. What, what, if, what if I want money from you, oh though? That's God, that I. Us pals. Oh, but can't we be pals, buddies? Um, iron leg armor. You know, I don't know if that's gonna be better than what we got, but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get it. Or, you know, drop stuff in front of them. <laughs> uh, sell, 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 sell. Sell, sell. We got a moment before stuff disappears. So. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. buddy. All right. What are you doing for... Uh... Okay, we got 4,400 Dukes. Um, did I... What did I say? I had uh, restocks day 10, right? Yeah. So... We can get uh, this wood bow if we can get 7,400 dukes. He does have an engine, but I don't think it's imperative that we get the uh, generator going. But what I would love to do is uh, essentially get the um, get the electric get the fence. Out of here. Oh my goodness, Rex. So mm, vicious, visceral, well, angry. To think of it, you better not right. this up. Wow, why is he so mouthy yeah. today? Rex, buddy. Oh, shoot. Dumb decision was made. Dumb decision was made. Oh, and I got a laceration. All right, note to self. Don't try to bunny hop a, uh, a zombie. All right, so the next job is right here. It was just around the corner. Now, this is just a retrieve supplies quest. We might be able to do a quick turnaround on this. So I'm actually going to skip over loot in favor of trying... Um, did this one have a, a board? It did. <laughs> oh, flick of the wrist. We got him. Uh, do I have room? Yes. Like Ace Ventura. Quick decision. <laughs> Wait. The satchel's out here? That's easy. <laughs> wow. Uh, we'll just read that one. Anyway, yeah, fake fanfare. We already finished that one. All right, let's come back uh, and get another job. Hey, potty mouth. Trader Joe. Now that you did the job, I guess you ain't all that damn bad after all. Hey, jerk, you need some work. Well, good. Okay. There's a barn, and this is a clear and retreat, so we will have to uh, kill the zombies. But it's the one right next door here. Oh, okay. Not the not one next door, but the one across the, the street from it. Okay. Oh, this this is one of my old school favorites. Uh, this one, I think, is by the uh, the farm in Navisgain. Uh, that, that farm and house uh, area. Alright, who's coming? Guess who's coming to dinner. Ah, I hate when they can juke like last second. Oh, I missed the front one. 
<laughs> I got the one behind. Now, technically, these guys have low enough HP that we don't have to uh, fight them at all. Once we Molotov them, we just have to wait it out. But I wanted to go ahead. We could have duplicated this corn, but oh well. Saw you through the corn. Wasn't the forest through the trees, but uh, it's close enough. Yeah, right, let's repair the bow. Knife is about halfway, so we're gonna keep an eye on that a bit. Just gonna say we uh, we gotta alert them if I do that. Oh, and a bow inside, huh? I don't know if it's like sadistic of me or something like that, but like seeing the arrow just hanging out of her face is it's both like gnarly and cool. Uh just doing a once around here. I can't remember if this place has boars. They won't be aggro boars. Yeah, here we go. There we go. Okay. Thanks, fellas. And I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to take advantage of these gore blocks as well. Got to watch that stay within marker. I can't remember if this side place is out of range or not. No, it doesn't look like it. Might as well get some cobble while we're here. Oh, there's a snake in my boots. It's like, yo, can you die? <laughs> I just wanted to get cobble. Yeah, I'm actually surprised, and no, this isn't an invitation, fun pimps, for you to take my suggestion. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the uh, the snakes don't immediately infect you uh, if they bite you. I, I mean, that's probably the first time in a long time a snake has actually done damage to me. Okay, we need to be a little careful because we're encumbered by 10 items here. So let's see if we can we get any kind of sneak. Hmm, maybe. And there's the click. Oh, I, I, I guess we did it. All right, so that's it for the cobble. We, again, we could get the cement, but uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, let's go ahead and start getting cement, too. Okay, uh, it's a book we already know. Scrap that. Fake fanfare, we already read that book series. We're gonna scrap the brush. We'll probably find a dozen of them later. Regular bandage, gonna get rid of. Um, I'm gonna try to get this. We need one more space open. The uh, satchel's down there. But uh, we'll see what we get here. If it's something that doubles up. Okay, uh, machine gunner, we'll read it. Doesn't matter what it is, but we'll read it. Uh, oh, no. Um, shoot. Okay, let's do arrows because I totally got like a couple of a couple of feathers then we'll get that and now we still need one more slot um oh there we go we did not have leg armor all right and I'm gonna eat uh, eat I'm gonna drink the mega crush uh why not I gotta go faster gotta go faster 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 fast 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 Okay, so even though I had the, uh, um, was it Mega Crush and then I had a coffee, my, <laughs> my, uh, stamina still wasn't coming back, but we got all the cement that I could see. And, uh, that should be at least a decent start to things. Again, by the day 14 horde, we're going to evaluate what we got going on with that, that base design. We could probably slowly do one or two things here or there as I bump my mouse weird. Watch your back. Smart now, okay, he's gonna give us an iron crossbow. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's let's get it. Um, you have any jobs now? There's a restore power at night, but I'm not ready for that yet. I don't I don't think I'm ready. Um, I want to arm up a little bit. Utils utility electric company. We'll take that. Uh, this is a clear and retrieve. We won't be able to finish it before 2200. Dude, seriously, still talking? My God, do do you like love hearing yourself talk? Is that what it is? 
Oh, you know what it is? Day eight, and I totally did not leave an item in the cash register. Shame on me. Oh, but we did bag a Trader Hugh, didn't I? I totally forgot to sell stuff to him. Um, okay, boots, ammo, ammo, um, robotic parts. We're not going to use anything robotic, so let's go ahead and sell that. Uh, motor tool parts, we might end up making something. Trigger group, we're not going to use, so there. Uh, that helps cut it cut down a little bit. Okay, yeah, we do have some bow uh, bolt bolts for the crossbow. Let's go ahead and make that active. Pipe bomb, we're going to take you out. Depending on things, now that we can make pipe bombs, it'd be cool to have like 40 of them on us at all times, but there's going to be a lot of situations all where... That damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? Yes, that's all I bought that I sold to you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to focus on that uh, instead. Okay, so technically we still got two game hours. We got a crack a book across the street. Um, whoa, okay. Let's uh, let's empty stuff off and let's go over there and see what we can get out of it. Also, we did level up, so let's get that agility up to four. And hopefully we'll get close to level five here by doing this. Uh, the zombies in here can be hit or miss tough. Not too bad though, I don't think. Yeah, three over there. Dude to the right died. Not if I can aim. Oh, stamina's a thing. Let's get a bleed wound on her. They keep dodging by just like that one inch move to the side there. Alright, got her. Okay, what have we got for loots? Nothing here. Let's go ahead and aggro all the zombies and fight them. Can't remember if there's a feral that comes out of there. No. Okay, nobody behind me. Cool. At least one person here. Two of them, okay. Yep, yeah, you attack that cash register, lady. That's uh it's a very deadly calf. Calf? Wow. <clears throat> cash register. The ever ongoing joke that should make uh, decoy scarecrows out of the uh, cash registers so that we can uh, um, trick the zombies into fighting them and then we sneak up behind them or something. Don't be breaking stuff in there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, there's usually a, something worth looting in here. Oh, shoot. Where'd he come from? Now, being that this is not a job we're doing, this is uh, just me trying to clear and then loot. <laughs> we can't get the fun little red dot to help guide us through uh, what is and what is not part of the POI. Might be someone in there. Might still be someone in there, just haven't loaded in. No? Okay. Oh, the, because they're on the other side. Oh, come on now. Uh, hey, if it works. There we go. Oh, she's still alive. Ha! <laughs> Pin cushion. Ah, she was a tough one. All right. All right. A lot of zombies in here. Have fun, guys. Ah! Okay. Grenade took all three of them. Cool. All right, uh, so that should be the loot. So now we should be able to get it and quote unquote safely return back to our base. But yeah, we got like a lot of stuff that we can um, loot in here. So let's go ahead and start getting it. Okay, um, scrap chest armor will sell. Some more lock picks. Uh, everything else will sell. No big whoop. Recipes. 
All right, batter up volume five, bats and clubs to grade 20% slower, doesn't matter, but again, completion of stake, we'll go ahead and read it. But structural brace bond schematic, if we ever want to make any more, now we know how to make one. Uh, let's see, we'll scrap this stuff. And again, I keep scrapping the nails, but that's because if I really need any more, I could just make some more. You end up finding so many, and case in point, uh, you end up finding so many when you're looting stuff, and you never, you never find them right away when you're starting the first week, but then afterwards you're just finding five here, ten there, and before you know it, you're sitting on like 500 at, at your base, not doing anything. Oh, creepy music time. It's now 2200. See if we can continue to loot this store safely after hours. Uh, Iron Knuckle Schematic. We're not doing fists, but we'll read the schematic. Now, I heard a puppy dog out there. We're going to have to be careful. Yeah, he's right, right outside the north side of the building. Lock those doors. Well, not lock them, but close them. There he is. Oh, just missed him. Skimmed his whiskers. Okay. Zombie bow, what do you know? Oh, he's a feral too. Uh-oh. <laughs> stabby, stabby, stabby. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he has more visitors. Lots more visitors. Um, this is a retreat situation. We will take the barbed wire damage. We're going to swing wide and quiet out here. It's going to take a mo moment to get through that fence. Think I'm good? Nope, not good. Oh boy. And circle around. Yeah. Oh, he's not dead though. However, loud noises do aggro zombies. Okay, we're going to get them at the wall. From the window to the wall. Gotta give it my all. Oh, tourist zombie. Okay, those guys burned out. Got zombies behind us as well. Let's get up on the wall again. Another pincushion situation. We got this. Okay, got him. Where'd this other guy go? Inspecting the horde base? That's fair, that's fair. Okay, so that'll do it. <laughs> Got a little bit crazy there at the end, but I wanted to soak up that last two hours of uh, in-game time. And, uh, of course, you know, naturally you do that close to the nighttime in the downtown area. You're going to have zombies that spawn up as soon as that 2200 hits. And they're all around you, and you got to make the best of it. Uh, but uh, not a bad day eight. A uh, little bit of a short episode, I think, today, depending on the editing. Uh, but uh, appreciate you guys coming out and checking out this uh, episode today. Uh, big, big thanks again uh, to everybody that's coming out and checking out this series. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, a little stressful for the Horde Night there, but... Uh, you know, you also don't want it to be paint by numbers. You want to have a little bit of fun with it. And that's why I'm doing something different. I'm not doing my usual kill corridor based designs and stuff. I'm trying to mix it up a bit. And that could mean uh, I come up with a silly idea that doesn't work sometimes. And uh, for the most part, it kind of worked. <laughs> and that's all right. Because, hey, we're still alive. So, hey, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Click that bell notification to get notified every time I post new videos. We're also posting uh, some uh, informational videos on how I feel. Things like uh, The Last of Us Episode 1 review. I'm going to be talking about uh, things like The Mandalorian, the Marvel movies, everything. So, those videos will be coming soon this week as well. And uh, if you like this video, click thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like it, 
click thumbs down either way. Uh, I leave it up to you. I challenge you to do so. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and comment below, let me know your thoughts on the series so far on this episode or any random thoughts you have that might be pertinent to this series. I certainly would appreciate it. Thanks again, everybody, for stopping on by. As always, we'll see you on the next adventure. All right. Bye-bye.